So if x plus 1 by x equals root 3, then the value of x power 18 plus x power 12 plus x power 6 plus 1 is equal to what? Options given to us are 0, 1, 2 or 3. Right? So, so let's see what happens. x plus 1 by x here equals root 3 x plus 1 by x equals to root 3. He's asking us to evaluate what is x power 18 plus x power 12 plus x power 6 plus 1. This is equal to what? Now there's there's no way in trying out substitution, right? That will make your life miserable. You cannot go ahead with that process. You'll have to actually work on this equation and you know try to do some simplification there. So so let's try and simplify this. I think what what we'll try to do here is uh, Maybe let's cube this equation on both the sides, right? Cube on both the sides. Cube on both sides. So x plus 1 by x whole cube and then root 3 whole cube. See what happens. So what is a plus b whole cube? a plus b whole cube is a cube, which is x cube, plus b cube, so 1 by x cube, plus 3a squared b. What is 3a squared b? 3x squared into 1 by x plus 3ab squared, 3 into x into 1 by x squared, which is equal to, now root 3 whole cube. What will be root 3 whole cube? Root 3 whole cube will be? 3 root 3. You understand? Root 3 whole cube means what? Root 3 into root 3 into root 3. Root 3 into root 3 is 3. And then there is one more root 3. So 3 root 3. Again, I think, uh, you know, given the amount of practice that you would have gone through before you appear for your exam, you should, you should avoid this step. You should directly write the simplified step, which is x cube plus 1 by x cube equals to see x and x gets cancelled here and here x and x gets cancelled. So we have 3x plus 3 by x. So if I take 3 common, we have x plus 1 by x which is equal to 3 root 3. And remember, x plus 1 by x equals to root 3 is already given in the question itself. x plus 1 by x equals to root 3. So substitute that in this place. x plus 1 by x equals to root 3. So what happens? We will get 3 into root 3. Now this 3 root 3 and root 3 root 3 gets cancelled. Yes or no? I am writing the next step which is redundant. You don't have to write this in the exam. Just for the sake of explanation, let me put it here. Plus 3 into x plus 1 by x is root 3. So this is 3 root 3, which is equal to 3 root 3. Now 3 root 3 and 3 root 3 gets cancelled on both the sides. So what do we have? We have x cube plus 1 by x cube equals to 0. I think that's the most important conclusion that we arrive at from the given equation. The equation says x plus 1 by x equals to root 3. x plus 1 by x equals to root 3. Then x cube plus 1 by x cube equals to 0. Now having got this, you should be able to simplify the given expression now. What is he asking us to find out? x power 18 plus x power 12 plus x power 6 plus 1. Now see, let us take x power 6 common in the first or x power 12 common in the first two terms. So if I take x power 12 common, what happens? We'll get x power 6 plus 1. Plus if I take 1 common here, we'll have x power 6 plus 1. You're able to follow. You know that when the bases are equal and in multiplication form, the powers can be added. So x power 12 into x power 6 is x power 18. x power 12 into 1 is x power 12 anyway. So x power 18 plus x power 12 plus x power 6 plus 1. Now what do you do next? Take x power 6 plus 1 common, so x power 6 plus 1 into x power, x power 12 plus 1, right, x power 12 plus 1. Again, what next? See, simple, let's take x cube common from the first term here. See, if you see x power 6 plus 1, the whole idea is how do you reduce x power 6 plus 1? x power 6 plus 1 can be taken as x cube into x cube plus 1 by x cube. Now, these are all ideas that you must get in the exam. I'm not saying that it's easy to solve, but you should get this logic in the exam, right? If you take x power x cube common here, x cube into x cube is x power 6 because bases are equal and in multiplication form, the powers can be added. So, x power 6 plus x cube into 1 by x cube. So, x cube and x cube gets cancelled, we'll be left with 1. Now, why have we done this? Why did we do this? Why suddenly we want to take x cube common? Only for the reason that we know x cube plus 1 by x cube is 0. So, if I put this back here, if I put this value back here, what do we get? x power 6 plus 1 equals to x cube into 0, which is equal to 0. So basically, the conclusion that we have is x power 6 plus 1 from this. Sorry. The conclusion is x power 6 plus 1 equals to 0. If x power 6 plus 1 equals to 0 is substituted here, what do we get? 0 into anything is 0. So your final answer comes out to be what? 0 into x power 12 plus 1, which is 0. Please do not go by the length of the explanation. Answer is option 1. Answer is option 1, 0 here. Please do not go by the length of the explanation or number of steps. Like I've mentioned, a lot of these steps can be cut here. Like, like for example, uh, look at this. I mean, all, all this, you know, cubing on both the sides and all. You don't have to write on paper, right? 
avoid those steps you, you don't have to get this step as well see if you can just visualize that steps there when you cube on both the sides you will know that you will be left with x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 into x plus 1 by x equals to 3 root 3 and then i would i would in fact say you should directly be able to jump to this conclusion this box here that x cube plus 1 by x cube is equal to 0 and after that yes you just have to do the simplification to get the answer okay so option 1 0 is the answer to this question 